Alright, hello! And dito naman po ako ulit, si Teacher Chavi, no? So, today I'm going to make a new video tutorial by request. Alright, from my co-coordinators, ICT coordinators. Okay, very special po itong video tutorial na to. Okay, so, this is all about on how to plug in your DepEd email and your G Suite account. Okay, ano po yung pagkakaiba ng DevEd email and G Suite account natin na bago? Though they are both um, G Suite account, okay, but they are different um, organization, kumbaga, kung saan tayo under. Okay, uh, let's start muna by signing in our um, account first for DevEd email. Alright, on your Google Chrome browser, on the address bar, Okay, ito po address bar tinatawag natin where we um, see the address of our website sa pinupuntahan or itinatype po na website or the URL or the URL. Right? Type in there gmail.com Okay, then plug in uh, deped.gov.ph Okay. Then the password. Okay. One successful po yung pag sign in natin. All right. Ito po yung kubungan sa atin. Okay. So this is our um, DepEd email. So as you can see, we have the icon here, DepEd email. Okay. So. Again, ginagamit natin itong DepEd email, okay, also for communication and getting also announcements from division office or from DepEd itself sa central, pwede po, okay? And we are under DepEd organization in general, okay? Lahat po tayo. Okay, deped.gov.ph po ang domain names kasi under tayo ng deped um, organization. Okay, now, sa panggamit ng deped email, na talaga pinaka-importante sa atin lahat as a teacher. Without this deped email, we, we cannot um, apply for a loan. Okay? salary loan kasi kailangan to di ba kaya hindi natin masyadong iniintindi before pero pag once na mag-loan na tayo ayun pupunta po tayo sa mga ICT core natin para ipa-reset yung password kasi kailangan na kailangan na for your application sa salary loan okay so yan po yung mga gamit ng ating debit email Okay, pwede rin po yung gamitin sa um, school nyo, kung sakali man, may mga kailangan email sa principal, para mas formal or professional, okay na gamitin. Aside from your personal account na email, eto rin po pwede natin gamitin. Okay, pwede rin po tayo dito mag-save, kasi may Google Drive din. At the same time, may Google Sheets, Docs, Classroom also. Right, meet. Okay. Now, second account naman natin na bago sa DepEd, okay? So, I just need to sign this, sign out, okay? So, I'm going to use another account. Now, I'm going to sign in my G Suite Education account. Ito po yung bagong-bago ngayon, di ba, na binigay sa atin. Right? Kung mayroon na po yung division nyo nito, ito po yun. So, ang format naman po nito kasi, alright, ng email natin is your first name dot last name at deptedlaspinas.ph So, meaning to say, we are under deptedlaspinas organization. So, kumbaga, yung magiging ano lang po natin, takbo natin dito, so, magmamapping po tayo um, from DepEd, then DepEd Las Piñas, La, Division of Las Piñas lamang po. Okay? 
plug in. Okay. So makikita niyo po ang pagkakaibawas ng plug in po kayo kasi ma-identify niyo na kung G-switch siya kasi may nakalagay dito. G-switch. So doon di ba sa una nakalagay siya ang depth head. So ito po G-switch account po natin. Okay, same din, mayroon din siyang same um, applications doon sa depth head. Okay, pero it may kumbaga, dito naman sa G Suite account natin, ito po gagamitin talaga for education, for classroom, okay? Lalo na ngayon na new normal tayo at distance learning, alright? Kasi magkakaroon din ng depth ed Las Piñas or G Suite account ang ating mga estudyante. Okay, same organization para mas madali natin din silang mai-add sa ating Google Classroom or kahit mag-share ng ating mga Google Docs or Google Sheets and try mas madali na din. Okay, magkakaroon po tayo ng another video tutorial with this different function